I can be as effective on the inside, and sometimes in this fight he was, the short right hand, but Porter with more volume and working on the inside. The man that throws more punches per round. Yeah. Yellow gloves, and some people might think he is here in this high-stakes matchup corner. Counter right cross judge and Porter also telling us that he wanted to box a little more, but here we go. The chest can also set up a left hook upstairs like we saw. And he really doesn't give a lot of ground. He'd rather time you coming in. Oh! Connor, before we get to the keys to victory, both men landed rights, but Garcia's was better. Their respective careers 11 months apart. Both of them, believe it or not, uh, Oh, struck jab lands for Porter. And of course for Porter, it normal bull rushes as much. But... Yeah, the Porter right, you see the right hand, he thinks... Jab lands for Porter. Danny Garcia landing here, we will see a left hook that gets in as they almost clash heads. Very nice short left hook by Garcia. And Porter, we mentioned he wanted to use the jab and make it as effective as he could. Here he faints a bit and then lands a very nice jab. And the, you know, the question, and, oh, there, and there's Porter now doing that thing he does when fighting a different kind of fight. Oh, the right hand by Garcia that landed. Garcia ripping to the body, chopping right. Garcia looking, oh, lead left hook by Garcia, I was going to say. Jab to the sternum by Porter. Against Danny Garcia, you need to double and then something that lands something behind it. Garcia landed a right hand to the body, but Porter down. Porter lunging forward again, just smothering his offense the way. Yeah, but he was able to get in a little short right hand. This is where you want to go. Yeah, but that's Garcia. Porter for the rabbit punches. As a right hook artist, able to get the right hand. This is what, da what Danny Garcia does. He lands, you talked about it, Paulie. He will be looking down and land a big power shot. It's been the case through his whole career. It's, it's deep one. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it's terrific. And there is Porter working uh, with the body, uh, a right hand downstairs, and then trying to. Well, Danny Garcia looking at the time. No, no, no. no. In this fight. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, people can pull, well, yeah, that's a good point. Yet in some interviews, he made yeah. people in the blue. But he said it over time. Oh, yeah, we lost turn by Look at it. Look at this fight. Now, you landed a great left took a moment ago. And at times, it does extremely effective. Garcia lands his great way to the body, but Porter explodes inside. and... Porter's will found a home for the left hook of his own, and it looks like being caught in the eye of a hurricane. You're just that's dropping right hand by Porter. Left hook to the body by Garcia. Remember, a nice jab by Porter. He just makes you. Just he'll wait. He'll try to win. The body punches and a couple left hooks. Things will throw off the counter punch. What he did in the last round, he had a very good round. He, he was much busier working to the body and the head. And using the head a little bit. <laughs> a little bit of everything from Sean Porter. Yeah, and this is Sean Porter at his best. That left hand a little bit low, but he's pushing Garcia. And here's where Porter will actually counter with the left hook. Uh, so orthodox. He's full of surprise, Garcia. The question is, can you win a fight like this? If Sean Porter is this busy guy, like he's being right now, can Garcia do enough to win it? Right hand, a couple of right hands. Porter fighting out of the clinch. Jab to the body by Porter. Jab upstairs by Porter. Counter right. Just grazing the body by Garcia. Good hand position by Garcia to catch those. A good jab there by Garcia. Sharp jab by Garcia. Ford walking to a counter punch, but we've seen Porter mix it up, diversify his attack, and even land counter. Oh, he's been here. I think he should get back on the jab.
Rangers on the inside trying to kind of nullify the attack of Porter. What does Porter do? He just keeps banging away with the right hand to the body. Some of them getting in and a short right to the head. And Garcia's trying to hold on and keep things from happening. Then Porter on the inside will throw this nice little uppercut. There it is. But here it's all of you know what? Very cool combination, but good counter shot by Garcia. That's well, they actually haven't clashed very much. That was five left here in the seventh, and the corner of Porter said that he was confused. Oh, they put a hundred eye-catching blow, and yep. that's another combination. Been effective from the outside in some instances, for sure. And he's throwing a lot more punches than Danny Garcia. And Coming up on the final minute of the sub. Yeah. Around. And both work in the body. You know, Danny Garcia thought at some point, but not out consistently. So we'll put it again here. A lot, of, a lot of the work Danny wants to do gets smothered by Porter. Porter doing a good job pushing Danny back at the attack so that he keeps him on the back foot. Now Danny and Garcia, Porter. yeah, coming forward, but then eats a Porter. They exchange body shots. Now it pulls. And we'll take a look at it. Sean Porter, there, the head banging kind of off the side of the face of Danny Garcia. Garcia trying to land the uppercut on the inside. Yeah. And there's Porter's head banging on the inside. Then he adds a left hook <laughs> for good measure. Many valuable Watch pieces in this division. Yeah. A good combination. You look at their record past seven. That that Porter had the one who's very close to Brooks and yeah. the Berman. Oh, sure. Porter putting together combinations. Yeah, good one, too. You know, James left hooks with Garcia. There's a danger in that. Another good round for oh, Porter. I think. Sharp jab by Garcia, but yeah, Porter continues. Garcia. And Porter attacking the body. Under 30 seconds left in the eighth. Yeah, not, all, not everything lands cleanly from Porter, but he's very doing activity. Good exchange here at the end of round eight. Good combination by Garcia. Sean Porter, we've talked about it. When he gets that engine running, it's pretty good. And here he works the body. Not everything. Blocked a little bit there, but there's a good shot to the body. And he continues the pressure and lands that left hook on the inside and the right hand. He is just busier than Danny Garcia. Garcia's landing some nice shots. Make no mistake about that. But the activity of the skill against Porter, but Kel Brook and Keith Thurman, two guys who divorced Steve Farrett, has given Porter the last official scorecard. Porter. Garcia leading with a right hand, but Porter. That I think some people might have underestimated. Yeah, I, I was one of them. And you're right, though, Alan. I mean, we haven't seen oh, oh, double left hook. That blocks the difference in this fight. So far, he hasn't hurt Porter with any of them. He's landed a couple of good ones. Yeah, Porter digging I, away at the body. Sorry, Paul. And they are more eye-catching shots. Yeah. Porter will more bury you in activity. Oh, left hook back again back by the seconds left in the ninth. Porter coming in with a lead left uppercut to the body. Right hand to the body. And... Garcia punches of Porter, or the head punches of Garcia. I think Garcia is out to find the target with his left hook here in the ninth. Good body shots by Garcia, speaking of body shots. The head shot by Garcia is just a master at throwing the counter left hooks. There he doubles with wow. that hook. Two terrific punches as Sean Porter gets caught in no man's land. And with his right hand down, I don't think he expected that second hook. And then yet another one by Danny Garcia. For Porter, he is working the body and working it continually. This time, the left hook missed by Danny Garcia, and it's more punching than roughhousing. What's impressed you most by Danny Garcia? Uh, well, uh, you know, I'd say a good hook there by Garcia. Yeah, he's, I think he's the more accurate punch.
pressure when it comes to the count shots to count, but Porter is so active that you start to, you know, want to give him a lot of the credit as well. Both digging to the body out. Yeah, the body work has done more of it, but Garcia's been effective. Garcia just landed another left to the bread basket, left hook to the liver there by Danny Garcia. Minute and a half now left in the tenth, and the action picking up as Garcia continues to... Yeah, he's starting to... Yeah, he has to hold ground more. We'll see in the last minute. Right uppercut on the inside by Porter. And Danny Garcia, one thing, he has not been caught on the run here in attendance. Too close to call as we head to the championship rounds in 45 seconds. Headshots landed. Porter with the advantage as the action heats up. Wow, it's a good, fun round to watch. And close. Left hook upstairs by Garcia. Right cross just missed for Porter. Good defense by Porter. In body punches. And we should be in for outstanding championship rounds. Final 10 seconds. Porter lands the right hand upstairs. And there's a roll count. Oh, and a left hook as well. Garcia has a nice roll counter with that right hand. Beautiful left hook by Garcia. Best round of the fight. That was so much fun to watch. It was a in one in which both fighters excelled. Porter working the body, landing a hook. That was the aggression of Sean Porter, and the, but then there's the counter left hook by Dan. They've gone 12 rounds. Close loss for Garcia to Thurman. Ends up being pivotal because this is such a close fight. Official scorer Steve Farhood has it dead even. The entire fight still very much up in the air for the vacant WB seating their wares. Porter misses with that chopping right hand. Garcia backing up, wanting to reset along the ropes, get punched. And as I said, it's a power jam. Right hand by Porter. Counter was shown before, and that's true. And in case you were wondering, more than a thousand punches thrown between. Garcia, that's not shocking. Garcia's been. What do you make of Porter's unorthodox footwork here? He got caught up with that left from Garcia. I, I actually love it. I, there is the, some great footwork Sean Porter showing that I haven't shown before. Bulldozing forward, falling yeah. off balance in a lot of fights. But this oh. fight he's done well. Sean Porter's just like the twelfth and final round could very well determine Barclays as a new WBC welterweight champion. Porter pouring on the pressure, attacking the body of Garcia. Big left door, Steve. Farhood has Porter ahead by a point, heading into this 12th and final round, and Porter looking to secure the, the title and the back title throughout his career. He watched a recording of the 1987 fight between Marvin Hagler and Sugar Lee. Oh, good counter left hook to the head by Garcia. And that's the thing with Dick Garcia, he gets your attention more in the shots he lands. But it's... Jab by Porter, misses with the right uppercut, bobbing and weaving, now Porter chopping right hand by. The Porter versus the accuracy of Garcia. Oh, it's Garcia landing up. Right hand over the top by Porter. Left hook again, clips Porter. Garcia's found the home for that hook. 30 seconds left, Garcia continues to land the hook. Battling for the WBC welterweight title, Garcia finishing in a flurry. Will it be enough? The other guy or the other guy would win the next round. Early in the fight, Garcia with an overhand right and Porter working the body, which would be a theme of his, but so was Porter, or so was Garcia. Garcia came in and said, I can be as effective on the inside, and sometimes in this fight he was. The short right hand, but Porter with more volume and working on the inside. That, remember, was that great sequence of double left hooks by Danny Garcia. The jab, which Porter's father talk called for a lot in this fight was right there. Yeah, that right hand created some blood. Uh, he is now the WBC welterweight champion of the world. Showtime! Showtime!